Welcome to the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. In this series, we'll dive into the world of Hyper-V, Microsoft's powerful virtualization platform. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started or an experienced IT professional, this guide is designed just for you. We've got detailed recordings of the first six chapters, covering everything from the basics to more advanced topics. Chapter one, introduction to Hyper-V, Chapter 2, setting up your first, vir first virtual machine. Chapter 3, networking in Hyper-V. Chapter 4, storage in Hyper-V. Chapter 5, it's more advanced Hyper-V features. And Chapter 6, backup and recovery in Hyper-V. But that's not all. The full guide goes even further with comprehensive chapters on monitoring, performance tuning, high availability, security best practices, automation, and much more. You can access the full book now in its early access release on Kofi. You can visit the link to get your copy for free or contribute any amount you wish. Your support will help us grow this channel and continue providing valuable content to the community. By grabbing the early access version, you will not only be ahead of the game, but also contribute to making this guide even better with your feedback. This is my way of giving back to the community for all the amazing support we have received. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this series with anyone who might benefit from mastering Hyper-V. Let's dive into the first chapter and start our journey together into the virtualization excellence. Thank you for watching and let's get started. Welcome to chapter one of the ultimate Hyper-V guide. In this chapter, we'll explore the basics of Hyper-V, Microsoft's powerful virtualization platform. You'll learn about its key features, benefits, and how it compares to other virtualization solutions. We'll also cover the system requirements and installation process. Whether you're new to virtualization or looking to expand your knowledge, this chapter will provide a solid foundation for your journey into Hyper-V. Let's get started. First, Let's answer the question, what is Hyper-V? Hyper-V is a virtualization platform developed by Microsoft. It allows you to create and manage virtual machines, enabling multiple operating systems to run on a single physical server. This can significantly, significantly improve the efficiency and flexibility of your IT infrastructure. Hyper-V comes packed with several key features. This includes virtual machine management, which allows you to easily create, configure, and manage virtual machines. Resource allocation ensures that your VMs get the necessary CPU, memory, and storage resources. And additionally, Hyper-V offers high availability and live migration, enabling virtual machines to move between hosts with zero downtime, ensuring continuous service availability. Before you get started with Hyper-V, it's important to ensure your system meets the necessary requirements. Hyper-V can run on Windows Server or Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Editions, but you'll need a 64-bit processor that supports second level address translation or slot. Additionally, hardware assistant virtualization must be enabled in your BIOS or UFI settings. Installing Hyper-V is straightforward. On Windows 10, you can enable Hyper-V through Windows features. For Windows Server, you can install the Hyper-V role using Server Manager. Both methods are simple and typically involve just a few clicks to get Hyper-V up and running on your system. To install Hyper-V on our Windows Server, we start by opening Server Manager. We go to Rules and features. Go next, next, next. Select Hyper V. Select Add features. Press next, next, next. You can create new virtual switch here or we can do it in a later uh, phase. Press next, next. And select the location where you want to place your virtual hard drive. In this example, we're going to use the C drive, make a folder. 
or V. Press next. And press restart server if required because IPV requires a restart. Press install. Now we have to wait for the installation process and the server will reboot automatically. Thank you for watching chapter 1 of the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. We hope you found it informative and are excited to continue your journey, journey into the world of Hyper-V. In chapter 2, we'll walk you through setting up your very first virtual machine in Hyper-V. It's a hands-on guide to get you started with some practical experience. For our dedicated supporters, chapters 2 to 6 are available right now exclusively for YouTube members. Each week, a new chapter will be released for everyone to enjoy, so don't worry if you're not a member yet. And if you're eager to dive into the entire guide, you can download the full book on Ko-fi. It's available for free or with any contribution you'd like to make. Your support helps us grow this channel and continue providing valuable content to the community. So join us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this series with anyone who might benefit from mastering Hyper-V. Your support really means the world to us. So thank you once again for joining us in chapter one. We look forward to seeing you into the next chapter. Let's continue our journey into virtualization excellence together. See you soon.